Hey everybody, this is Jonathan from Glitz and Glam TV Productions. And in this video, I'm talking about action cameras. And can you vlog with them? Let's talk about it. Okay, in this video, I'm talking about action cameras in general. In my hand here is the Yi 4K action camera, but I'm not talking specifically about this camera. I'm talking about action cameras in general. And can you vlog with them? Well, I say yes. Why not? Um, the thing is with action cameras is a lot of times they're even the, the higher end action cameras like the GoPro uh, are just way more attainable uh, because of their, their price. So what's considered like, uh, like a flagship action camera like the GoPro, it's between four and five hundred dollars, probably around four hundred dollars. Um, it's just it's so much cheaper than getting a DSLR or mirrorless camera, or at least a quality one. With a lot of people, they're trying to get um, 4K video, and it really is the cheapest way to get into 4K as far as cameras go. One of the cheaper ways. Um, another thing is. The portability, look how tiny this is. I mean, this literally can be put into a pocket if you wanted to. And most of the action cameras have this, is the quarter inch tripod mount so that you can put this on a selfie stick or a mini tripod, AKA vlogging stick, uh, which makes it really easy. And you wanna talk about like weighing almost nothing. These are so tiny and light. I mean, this, it's easy. There's no, there's hardly any weight to this. I've already vlogged with this on the vlogging stick and uh, honestly, uh, the vlogging stick might weigh more <laughs> than, than this little camera. The downside to this particular camera, now I'm speaking specifically about the E4K action camera, is if I do want to shoot in 4K, it would have to be only in the wide uh, field of view. Uh, if I want to go medium or narrow, it has to be 1080p. But again, that's this particular camera. Some of the cameras like the Sony FDR-X3000 has three different field of views and I believe they're all in 4K. Again, that's a camera that's between the $300 and $400 mark. Um, so, and, and it's really high quality video, uh, beautiful footage. I think that, that action cameras are, are often overlooked. People don't think they're meant for vlogging so they don't want to use them for vlogging, but they're perfectly acceptable for vlogging. And if you look up the Sony FDR X3000, you're going to get nothing but mostly rave reviews about the camera. And honestly, I wish I had my hands on one. <laughs> but anyways, let's jump to this camera. I'm going to switch out cameras right now, and I'm going to put this one on the tripod, and we'll take a look. Okay, I'm back and I'm on the E 4K action camera. And so this is what it looks like to vlog with the E 4K action camera in 4K. Now remember, I said if I wanted to shoot in 4K on this particular action camera, I had to have it in the wide field of view. Now in just a moment, I'm going to switch over to 1080p so I can get to the more narrow field of view. That way it'll, it'll have a more of a feel like before when I was using the mirrorless camera. But this is just to give you an idea of what it looks like to vlog in the wide field of view with an action camera. A lot of people do it. Um, where it's beneficial is say, like now I'm picking up the, uh, the, the mini tripod and now walking around, it's beneficial because you, see, you just see a lot of like me and the background, not that this is a background you wanna see, I'm just in a crowded garage. Uh, but like if you were out and about, maybe at the shore or the beach and you just, you, you want someone to see like everything going on around you, that's where vlogging with a, an action camera is really beneficial because it's way cheaper than buying a wide angle lens for your mirrorless camera. This action, this particular action camera only costs a hundred dollars brand new. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, not to mention, again, I'm going to keep saying this. It's so light. It's ridiculously light. 
Okay, I'm back, and now I switched it from wide to narrow, narrow field of view. This is in 1080p, but this is a way for you to have more of a natural vlog style feel and not feel like you can see like everything going on in the background. So this should look something comp somewhat, somewhat comparable to when I was shooting with the DSLR, uh, not the DSLR, the mirrorless camera. But this is vlogging with an action camera. No big deal. Uh, it's, it's just a camera like anything else. Yes, it was designed for sports and action type stuff, which is why it was called an action camera because this camera, cameras like this, it's easy to mount on things like helmets, on your chest, um, and in all kinds of places where you would wanna capture action. But that doesn't mean that you can't use it for vlogging. And it's a very inexpensive vlogging solution um, if you have a very tight budget and you wanna get a, a quality video and not have to rely on your smartphone. Because I don't know about the newer phones, but I know with my Samsung Galaxy S8, it only has a 10 minute recording limit. And that sometimes is a big hassle. And I, you know, just me personally, I don't think the video quality is that great on my, on my smartphone. Uh, I know some people rave about their smartphones and the video quality, but I still think my cameras outperform them. Not to mention that depending on the type of cell phone you have, the smartphone you have, it might not have the, the different field of view capabilities. I know some of the, the flagship brand new ca uh, phones out there have the multiple lenses, but they're also like $1,400 phones. If that's not you, if you can't afford that type of phone, that's okay. You don't need it. You can get a you can get an action camera, a good action camera for about $100. Between $100 and $200, you can get a decent action camera. So, there you have it. Can you vlog with an action camera? Well, I do. So, yeah, I say heck yeah. It works. Nobody even needs to know you're using an action camera and as always, focus on quality and creativity. And audio, of course. Definitely need a good audio. The audio is way more important than whatever camera you're using. In fact, the audio recorder I'm using for this video costs more than this action camera. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.